Hi everyone, Niklas Heitloff here from IBM and OpenNTF. Today I want to show you how I've extended the prototype that shows another um, possible alternative for a new rich client user interface for the discussion template. The most visible change is probably that I've started to use icons, as you can see them here in the outline, as well as in the action bars for both views and documents. And I use here the same icons from, from mail, contacts and notebook to make the user experience as consistent as possible to other rich client applications. Now, the other ch thing that I've changed is in the um, thread viewer, um, I've um, you know improved a little bit the real estate management here of the thread viewer. It doesn't use as much real estate anymore for one entry, so more entries fit here on one page, and you don't have to scroll that much anymore. Um, and you know, as always, you can use it as you know a navigator to navigate within the thread um, by just clicking these different subjects here, and the documents um, show up at the bottom. Um, and you know, as you could see, and let me do that again, when I open this topic, um, you know, I don't display anything here right now because it's hard to predict what response um, end user wants to see first. Maybe you want to just use the first one in that thread something we could do um, but then when you open a response I also and always um, bring up the direct parent of this response here and you can st you can still um, navigate through the thread so then the really nice thing now is that um, you know very often you don't only respond to one response or one topic but you respond to you know basically a couple of responses together so now you can say create new response and as you can see here this this new entry shows up which doesn't really represent a notes doc in the back end yet but it does represent this UI document that has just been created not saved but but created and you can see the position in the thread already now and now you don't only see the you can't only see the um, direct parent like this one response 3 but while you're typing in here your response you can also go to other documents of that same thread um, and these documents are displayed then here at the bottom so you don't have to leave the context and can work on your response and when when you save and open this thread again you will see your new um, response here as well. Um, so what else? Then in addition to that um, I've also um, changed a little bit the outline. I've grouped the preferences and you know they bring up the documents now um, again using the same look and feel as the other documents and also the three different things here for administrators I grouped and administrators can now see all documents, the author profiles or the configuration profile. And another thing that I've changed is here I've um, tried to make the views as consistent as possible whenever it makes sense. Um, this this one for example is a threaded view and lists the you know both um, topics and responses. Um, but there are also other views like this one here which really is just a flat list of both responses and topics and from here again you can bring up the full hierarchy of this um, thread. Um, other views are similar like this one here. This is a folder and this is also something I've changed. Um, at, the at the top you can see the different views and here's now an extra section for folders which is same user experience for mail and notebook as well. Um, where users can now um, you know, drag and drop whatever documents they want and put them into the My Favorites folder. Um, and again, I haven't really changed any, haven't really added any functionality here. I've just you know, changed the, the general user experience. And the other documents I've tried to make as consistent as possible, I've always, and I always use here either the subject you know, for views where that can contain both responses and topics. And as a second column, I always use the um, the column date. And that's the same here for all of these views now. Subject date by text as well, um, etc. I think that sums it up. Um, as always, please let us know what you think and provide feedback either in the blog or in the project for the next generation discussion template. Thank you.